In this video, I will show you Spike's email chat and I will explain how to compose, reply, and forward messages. With Spike's email chat, long emails look much shorter without repeating headers, threads, and unnecessary signatures. It works and feels just like a messaging app and looks like a regular email for anyone not using Spike. Real-time awareness like typing and red indicators, emojis, GIFs, and voice messages bring conversations to life and make communicating more efficient and fun. To compose a new message, click on the blue pencil icon and the composer will open up. Type in the recipient's email addresses or use your mouse to select them. If you wish to BCC or CC someone, click on their name and then select CC or BCC. Type in the subject line and then type in or paste in your message. You'll see down below that Spike offers some formatting options, such as bold, italicized, underline, strike through, linking for hyperlinks. You can change text color and or background color. You can add a numbered list, bullet list. You can increase indentation from the left or from the right and this one's for removing the formatting. In the bottom right corner, click on the smile icon in order to include an emoji or a GIF. Click on the plus icon in order to include an attachment. Browse your computer for local files. Click on cloud in order to add in a cloud account such as Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive. You can select recent files in order to see files that you've recently sent or received to your email address. You also can include voice messages or send them an invitation for a video call or an audio call. Click on this up facing arrow in order to send later the message. I'll talk about that in a later video. And you also can insert message templates. I'll also discuss that in a later video. Now I'm gonna do some formatting to my message. Once you're finished making your edits, click on the blue send button in the bottom right corner.